Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another art classroom lesson. Today we are going to be drawing a tea turtle. I've got my pencil, I'm using whatever paper I have. Some of you have been a bit worried about drawing online paper, but I think at a time like this when we're on lockdown, um, using line paper or using any kind of odd paper just adds to the story of the art that we are in this time in our history so don't be don't be shy I don't think it's not worthy um, I think it's actually part of, part of the story of your art if your paper is just line paper our sea turtle has got a beautiful big shell we want to leave space for his head and then he's got big flippers for swimming sea turtles swim very far distances so they have good good size flippers so my my shell mustn't be too big if i make it too big i won't have space for his flippers so we want a nice just a medium sized shell but not too small either so try and think about and visualize how it's going to be we're going to start on the left and we're going to do a sort of flattish line going along the top and this is the top of his shell his head is going to come out here and I can sort of gauge now how much space is left for his flippers. If I made it too long, I can make it shorter or make it longer. And we're gonna go down the side. Nice smooth curved line. And stopping in the middle. And let's do the other side. We're going to do his head in the middle here we're going to put two small straight lines and we're going to do two curved lines coming forward to make his head now most CT turtles have sort of this very sharp sort of beak uh, in the front because they like to chomp sea grasses and things they are most of them are vegetarian and put in some eyes just for now and he's got lots of wrinkles we're gonna do his flipper one flipper starting on the line that's at the top of the of the shell I'm gonna put a straight line coming out and then coming out from the side and put up put another one and then this flipper is going to been around and down little straight line and it's going to then join up and come in a little bit and we can put a couple of wrinkles here too let's do the other side coming from the top of the shell straight line another straight line and now we're going to do the curve of the top of his flipper. Curving around. And back up again and in. And a couple of wrinkles. The sea turtle has a little tail. So we can just put a little angled line at the bottom for a tail. And we are going to do his back flippers now so start on the inside here we put two marks to show where the flippers are going to start on either side of the tail and we're going to do a curve line that goes out and back in and do the same on the side here we go and then we're going to do the outside of the flipper And the other side. I'm going to start on some of his details on his shell. So first of all, we're going to put. It's, he's got a sort of a border on his shell. I don't want it to be a hard straight line, so I'm going to make it a little bit wiggly as I come along, just so it looks a bit more natural. So I'm going giving a border just on the inside of his shell. Alright, the next part we want to do his 
very interesting pattern. You need to just follow carefully on these instructions and pause the video if you if you get it if you need to go slower. You can do that. Um, it's very easy. It's just a whole lot of straight lines, but you, you probably will need to just follow instructions very carefully. All right, we're going to start in the middle of his back. Find the middle of his back, and we're going to do two straight lines. Like that and we're going to add on two straight lines to make this hexagon shape hexagon has got six sides I'm then going to extend these lines so that they come out to the side of his back right we've done his first bit of pattern let's carry on Gonna leave another space, doesn't have to be exactly the same as this space, I can leave it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna draw another line and another angled line ending in a point, and one on this side ending in a point, and I can join to the side. And I can join up to the top as well. Coming down, I'm going to make a bigger one on this side, I think. A nice big, so they're not all the same size shapes. I want some variety. So I'm going to leave a little bit of extra space. Straight line, angled line, angled line on this side, and I'm going to join up. I'll change the angle of my lines a little bit just to give him some shape. Right. And lastly, in this border that I have drawn, I can add in some extra details. We're going to put a few details on his head. So I also want to to a hexagonal shape and I'm just going to add on some more of those and I'm just going to make some odd lines coming along doesn't have to be all the same shape or size for his head we can also put a few up here as well down his Flippers. Here we go. Let's start coloring. I'm going to start with my light green and I'm going to just give a general light green everywhere and then I'm going to build into him a bit more. I'm going to color in his back as well with a light green before I add my darker tones. But now is an opportunity, instead of just coloring all across these shapes all in one go, if I give each shape its own attention, I'm going to get a much better effect. So I'm going to take the extra effort to do that. Right, I've got a very good general layer of light green. I've worked neatly. I've got a good base on which to work. I left his room around the outside because I thought I might use dark green and brown for that. Um, but I'm going to take my brown now 
and my dark green I can switch between the two and choose as I'm going along and I want to just bring out a little bit more of these details that I've put on his head on his flippers and add in some shadows and we've been practicing this quite a lot in our in our previous lesson so hopefully you're getting more comfortable doing it um, but to start off with I can at least sort of go around some of these shapes I'm going to using the brown first let me put some brown around his neck where that he's got those creases around his neck the pencil is not so pretty so I want to color that, that pencil marks over with my brown pencil I'm going to change and add a little bit of green as I feel. Remember, I don't want to cover all the light green. I want some of that light green to show, but I can add some different tones of other colors as well. Let's give him a little bit of form, a bit of shadow and shape around his head. Use a bit of brown as well. Let's get his eyes a bit clearer. I've got a black pencil crown here. And just get those eyes a bit clearer. I want to draw attention to them. Maybe I'll put a little bit of green on top to draw with my eye to those eyes all right I'm going to carry on and add a little bit more detail to the rest of his limbs and um, with my green and my brown and then we'll talk about the shell Come a bit closer you can just see i'm making lots of sort of scribbly marks i like green shining through but he's giving him nice texture on his shell and now for some a little bit of some dark green touches We have a look close look again we can see that my light green i spent effort to do that very neatly but i'm adding a lot of texture just with very loose lines with my other darker tones and that works so well but my neatness that's going to give my picture good neat finish is from my first light green layer and then i can be creative in adding my tones and my textures after i'm going to finish them off now just by coloring in this final part all right boys and girls there's our beautiful turtle if you want to be creative and use different colors um, I have used light green dark green and brown just pick three colors that go well together, maybe yellow, orange, and pink, or purple, pink, and blue, or something like that. And you can you do the same effect and be creative with your colors.
just by choosing three colors that go well together. I hope that you really enjoyed doing your turtle and be bold, be brave and experiment with your mark making when you're doing those tones and colors on, on his shell, on his flippers. And I hope that you can enjoy making him. He, we know that drawing is hard work and it takes time, but all good things take time and we can will be well satisfied when we are done. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow.